do you want to have a motion sensor with built-in battery that can last over a year? A motion sensor that is directly connected to your Wi-Fi and no additional hub is required. The latest product coming from Shelly and Silicon Labs called Shelly Motion claims to have it all. Let's see it! What's up, Kiryu Payanskis here. Shelly Motion Sensor looks like this. It is built by Shelly and it has a silicone heart coming right from the silicone labs with their Cortex M3 CPU, which results in faster, near real time responses and very low power consumption. The ad is saying it can last over a year with 6 hours of motions daily. That sounds pretty impressive, but they don't stop here. The Shelly Motion have built in accelerometer as well, which serves as protection if someone tries to remove or move the device from the place you put it. There is also built-in light sensor, which gives additional opportunities for automations in your smart home. But enough sweet talks. Let's unbox the Shelly Motion sensor and see it in action afterwards. This is the Shelly Motion Wi-Fi sensor, the latest product from Shelly and Silicon Labs. Let's see what we have inside. Scan the QR code for user guide. And this is the paper user guide for Shelly Motion. And the sensor itself. It is not so heavy. This is the micro USB for charging. I'll just tear this off like that. Probably I can remove this plastic part, but I don't want to risk it. Designed by Angel Petkov. Good job, Angel. Before first use of the Shelly Motion sensor, it is recommended to fully charge it. It is ready when that little red light located next to the USB port is turned off. After the sensor is fully charged, you can add the device to your Wi-Fi. To do so, Shelly Motion must be turned on. Use a paper clip or SIM card tool to press the button next to the USB connector. The Shelly Motion must start glowing in blue. Just a quick interruption here. If you press the like button under that video, it will also start glowing in blue. Coincidence? I don't think so. If the Shelly Motion is not glowing in blue, use the pin again, press and hold the button, but this time for 10 seconds. This will factually reset the Shelly Motion sensor and it will put it in inclusion mode. As with every other Shelly product, you can use the free Shelly Mobile app available in App Store, Google Play or even Huawei's App Gallery. Download the app on your mobile device and start it. Create a room inside if you still don't have any and choose Add Device from the menu. Then just follow the instructions. If you don't want to use any additional apps, you can add Shelly Motion to your Wi-Fi manually. To do this, search for Wi-Fi network named Shelly Motion something, connect to it and open 192.168.33.1 in a new browser or tab, choose Internet and Security menu, enable the Wi-Fi mode client and enter your Wi-Fi credentials. Let's make a simple test setup and see how Shelly Motion sensor works. I will try to set my Shelly Motion sensor to control lights when movement is detected. For that I will use the wizard inside the Shelly Mobile app. I will first use the Shelly Mobile app to help me with the configuration and then I will show you where to find the same options in the Shelly Motion web interface. I will click Setup. Move at any conditions will be fine. Next. How long should the lights be on after the last detected movement in the room? Let's say one minute. I can choose a light here. This is actually a Shelly Duo smart bulb. I'll select it and I'll hit done. This operation will delete all current actions and create new ones. OK. Please wait a while. Success. If I move my hand in front of the sensor, the Shelly bulb will be turned on for one minute. Great, it's working!
I will quickly show you the most interesting and useful options, in my opinion, from the Shelly Motion web interface. So this is the Shelly Motion web interface and the sensor is already joined in my Wi-Fi network. The first thing that I recommend, if you see this sign here, some kind of arrows, uh, that means you have a firmware update for your device and I recommend the first thing before start playing with the sensor is to update your firmware. Just click yes and enjoy the ride. The sensor actually started to blink in blue while it's updating. This could take up to 5 minutes. After a few minutes the firmware upgrade is complete and I cannot see any arrows here, that means everything is fine and I can continue exploring my Shelly Motion web interface. I will start with the top left. This level is saying motion and some seconds are decreasing. If I move my hand in front of the sensor, these seconds will become 300 and that way you can tell when the last time motion was detected. Next level is saying no tamper. If I move the sensor a bit, I'll activate this accelerometer and tamper will be shown instead of no tamper. This is the battery and this is the brightness sensor. It is showing lux values. And based on these values, this label is showing either twilight or bright or dark. By default, below 100 lux is considered dark. This label here is showing that the motion detection is activated. You can deactivate it from the settings if you wish. So let's dive into the menus. I will start with sensor control illumination definitions, you can change the lux values and I can change this to 200 and this label should change to dark because now the luxes are below 200 and the label is dark. Next is motion sensitivity, you can adjust this if you have pets that you didn't want to activate the sensor, you can play with these settings right here. Blind time in minutes from 1 to 5, motion pulse count, number of consecutive movements from 1 to 4, motion detection operating mode, you can set to detect motion only in dark for example, tamper alarm setting, you can adjust these settings as well. Motion sensor, you can deactivate it. I will not do that. Sleep time. Pause motion detection for X minutes. And pretty much this is the sensor control menu. Weekly shadow, this is self-explanatory. You can enable shadow timer from here. And you can add days. You can activate days or deactivate them and time of course. I will cancel this, I don't want to activate weekly shadow. Internet and security. The interesting menus from here are these MQTT settings. You can enable this from here and set your MQTT broker below and add credentials and co-op protocol can be enabled or disabled from here as well as the cloud you can enable the cloud connection or disable it from here and the device will stay only in your local network internet and security is done next menu is actions when motion is detected you can enable this action you can invoke a new URL, which is very valuable. Sky's the limit here, you can do whatever you want and you can call some APIs and whatever you wish actually. Same thing, but when it's dark, in bright, what to happen if end of motion is detected, tamper alarm detected, 
you can enable this and you can invoke anything and end of tamper alarm that's it with actions let's go to settings disable led light firmware update we saw that already time zone and geolocation you can set that from here device name factory reset device reboot make device discoverable and device info pretty much that's it these settings are also available in the Shelly mobile application but it's easier to show them to you this way from the web interface hey I need your help here with your valuable to me opinion. I can make a follow up video where I can try to integrate Shelly motion sensor with Home Assistant. Last time I did that with Shelly fluid sensor using MQTT protocol, which worked perfectly. Shelly motion also support MQTT and there is an official Shelly integration in Home Assistant that could also help. Anyways, let me know in the comment section below if you want such a video. If we get decent amount of such comments, I promise to make a Home Assistant and Shelly motion sensor integration video. You decide this time. The Shelly motion sensor seems a very good product to me at first sight, but I guess the time will tell if it will continue to be that way. For now, I will happily mount it somewhere inside and continue testing it. If it behaves decently, I will probably buy some more in the future as I always wanted to put motion sensors on all major entry points in my home. If the sensor is not behaving as expected, I promise to post updates in the video description and in my website. As of now, the only drawback to me is that I cannot mount the Shelly motion sensor outside, as it is not rated for such use. Guys from Shelly, if you are watching this, please make an outdoor version of the Shelly motion sensor. I will be the first to buy it. As always, I want to be as transparent as possible with you guys, so I must say that Shelly sent me their motion sensor for free to test and review their product without any additional expectations. So everything you see is my real and honest opinion. With that being said, stay safe and don't forget, home smart but not hard. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.